I'm Maggie B here for Apps for iPads with a video review of an absolutely fantastic new iPad app called Notes Plus. Now the developer Viatron has his hands around something that can be and will be within the next year something extraordinary and a wonderful business tool um, great for anybody that's uh, taking lots of notes, is in school, is taking uh, notes at seminars, webinars, uh, business meetings, or just everyday life. He has actually taken some of the best features of a couple different applications that we have already reviewed here on Apps for iPads, and he has integrated them together into well, it's just, it's, you have to take a look at it because it's absolutely phenomenal. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you a quick overview. And I actually spent, I discovered his application at the end of last week. And somewhere in that time frame, you'll notice that you heard from me on Twitter and Facebook, but you didn't see a full-fledged review or post that day on the website, which is highly unusual for us. Um, but I was so enthralled, I spent the whole day learning, taking apart, digging into just everything I could do with and around Notes Plus. I did that day. And I am very impressed with the bones that he already has set up with this application and where he's going to be taking it within the next year. He already has some things on the drawing table. Uh, there will be a new release, a new revision coming out soon, and other things that he already has uh, planned to bring out as soon as possible. Tune into the website and we will go into all of those further rather than doing it here on uh, the video. But as an overview, Notes Plus takes all of the best things that there are about taking handwritten notes and couples them with being able to put a recorded voice to them. So if you're sitting in a uh, meeting, seminar, webinar, whatever, you can record what's going on around you at the same time. Um, and we'll get more into that on the tutorial too. So stay tuned for that. We're going to do that in the next few days, probably put it up next week, um, because there is a lot of depth to this iPad app, and it is worth every single penny, and it's, it's not expensive. Go to the app, just go to the icon and click on it, and it'll take you to the Apple App Store from the website. It's really, really dirt cheap and it gives you so much already for your money and with the revisions that are planned, I just can't say enough about it. As you can tell just from the way I'm talking about it, I am very impressed with what Viatron has started and what he has planned, where he's going to take this application. When you come into uh, his application, you'll see that you have on the left a nice graphic bar that will give you all of your notes that you have um, developed so far, that you have stored into um, Notes Plus. And on the right, you will see the visual of whatever page you happen to be on when you left the note. So it will take you right back. It is kind of nice. It'll take you right back to where you stopped your work. So you're not always backing up and starting over. You can look at it in the view that you have here. You also have the ability, if you tap on here, you'll see all the pages that this document, as I was working through it, I was doing pages of notes and trying this and trying that. So I have a, a number of notes, uh, number of pages to this note, and um, I was trying out colors, highlighters, everything. We'll go into all that in the tutorial. But you have the ability to see all of your pages. You have the ability to look at it in this view, or you can use the pinch feature and you can see it in full view. Now, one of the things that makes this a great application, and anybody that knows me knows that, and if you've read it on the website, I'm not going to sit there and type my notes in a meeting. That's, you know, I'm not a, a, 
a person that a transcriber or whatever they call those people that sit in a courtroom and type away um, th that's just not a natural function for me anyhow and I like to take handwritten notes because I like to do uh, doodles and and sketch diagrams and you know put highlights around things that make me remember things and I just can't do that on a, on a typewriter now I can type into this function if I wanted to anywhere I double tap it's going to bring up the integrated iPad um, keyboard and I can type whatever I want into that I have control of the font the color everything um, but that's just not me. I don't do that. But you can you can mix it up. You can do both if you want. You can uh, you're totally carte blanche with this application. So it's absolutely wonderful. If you are going to be writing, you can write as it is here in full view or in that other sh shortened view that I showed you. It has down here on the bottom a palm pad so that it, you're never going to leave stray marks um, on your paper. You can just move it wherever you want to or get it out of the way. Or what I think is great, and and there is another application called Notetaker HD that also has this function. They call it Edit 2. This they uh, Vietran just calls it Close-Up View. But when you... Oh, I was using two fingers, need to use one. Um... It shows you wherever this gray shaded block is, that is your regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper size, and this is where you're working. So you can write big, and it, it ends up small on the paper, which is great. Let me show you, if I pinch this back and go to page 2, where I've left some room. Okay, if I... I go here, what I'm doing is I'm writing big and it's making it small. It's having it fit exactly onto the page so I can get, you know, a normal amount of notes on a page. I don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, I have to try to write teensy weensy. That's never going to work. I don't like edit one note taking apps for that reason. Um, it just, it's, it's, it's to me it doesn't it's not multifunctional if I'm gonna have one application that does it all I wanted to do it all anyhow it has an undo feature so whatever you when you last touch the paper it's gonna go backwards that type of thing it has real quick here because we're gonna we're gonna do that tutorial so it's still doing the close-up view you just tap anywhere outside of that and it, uh, it gets rid of it but you can see it has six different one two three four yes yeah, six different um, thicknesses of your inks it has highlighters it has um, colors whoops didn't mean to do that gotta use two fingers um, it has black gray red blue green brown gray blue orange aqua purple and pink and uh, it also has fill colors so you can do like black with gray fill blue with green fill um, brown with aqua fill blue you get the idea it does all sorts of things like that so if you want to get fancy you can get fancy with your note taking it also does highlights it'll do highlights in different um, shades so you can make it lighter darker whatever we're gonna get into that in the tutorial too and it he also has new ones coming, so they're gonna. It's gonna be easier to do, and we're gonna get yellow, <laughs> which isn't in here yet. But anyhow, it's just absolutely phenomenal. The other thing I want to show you is that it also will record what's going on around you as you're taking your notes. And I'm playing back what I have uh, associated with this particular page. I'm doing an online um, video in the back second to test to see how well Notes Plus is picking up what's going on around me so that I can be taking notes while I am taking and listening to an online seminar or sitting in a meeting or a lecture hall, whatever I happen to be doing. So here we go. 
So while you probably can't hear that really well, I can hear it well enough to be able to know what's going on in the background. I was sitting at my computer at a webinar taking notes. So it's great. And while you cannot like tap on a particular portion of a page and it will take you to where uh, it was what it was being said at that time it associates the notes with the page so it narrows it down to a page of notes so if you're conscious of that and plan for that that's not a big deal the only thing is it does not export the notes when you export um, the the um, document so if you go up here you do have settings you can um, that's for your pen options your text options which is your fonts and colors for your typing it has paper options you can actually adjust the width of the lines right down to that and um, a few app settings that it allows you to do um, about saving passwords that's where you're gonna do the line height um, gestures for you can how you erase and whatever again we'll get into that in the tutorial that's coming up um, you can export this as a PDF you can email it as a PDF it will not send the audio files not at the present time with this revision anyhow and you can also upload it right to Google Docs which is a great thing Vietron is also looking into integrating it with Evernote and as you know Evernote will scan and search through handwritten documents for searchability and it will do that if you uh, e if you do this as a PDF to Evernote so you can just email it to o Evernote um, he is working on categories and searchability at the present time that's something that's coming in the near future stay tuned for the tutorial this is going to be an iPad app to watch notes plus fantastic Maggie B for apps for iPads see you on the website for the full review where I'm going to have an interview with Vietron see you there don't miss it I'll talk to you tomorrow.